there. My name is Miss Grace. I'm an instructor here at Orange Easel. We're a children's art studio in downtown Liberty, Missouri. I just got done doing a birthday party. That's the fun mess behind me. We have in-person classes and we also have online classes. And I wanted to show you something I did in my online classes recently. I painted a cityscape of Japan. Now a cityscape can get pretty complicated, so I decided to do my cityscape as a silhouette. What's a silhouette? So a silhouette is gonna be a dark outline against a lighter background. I'm gonna see if I can recreate a silhouette for you, but for that, we're gonna to have to go into another room. Welcome to the preschool room, and let's see if I can make a silhouette happen. So this is what a silhouette looks like. You can see my outline. You just can't see any of my distinctive features. Let's get the lights back on. All right, now that we know what a silhouette is, I'm gonna go ahead and cue the intro music, and I will meet you in the filming room. So the thing with silhouettes is they're easy. They're so easy, I decided to have my students do two paintings during class. We painted this one, and we painted this one. Now I wouldn't say that one of these paintings is more leveled up than the other. They're more like different ways to do the same kind of thing. Now that said, this one is quicker, and this one has a lot more color mixing. Now let's look at the time lapses. All right, so I'm starting with the background. I've got that cup there so it can kind of save the space of the moon. I splattered some stars. I'm doing a little bit of water work. Then I have a dark black line that I put the silhouettes of the city on. And then I just finish it off with a, a little bit of text at the bottom. So that was my nighttime in Tokyo painting. Let's see what Japan looks like during the daytime. For this painting, I went monochromatic-ish. I still save the spot where the sun's gonna be. Large brush for those mountains, so you can drag that white across the top. I'm doing a staggered silhouette. I have the city-type buildings in the background and the old-school architecture in the foreground. Flat brushes are going to be your friend on the cities. All right, I know those time lapses go really fast and you probably didn't get to see me paint each of the individual buildings of the cityscape. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put on my overhead camera and then we're gonna paint a small cityscape together. All right, so you're going to start by making a line from one end of the page to the other. This is the base for your city. Now you'll notice I'm using a flat brush because that's making the width of my lines for me. You'll also notice I'm dipping my brush in water that helps to make your paint go on a little bit more smooth when you're trying to do fine line work like this. Again, I'm letting the width of the brush be the width of my buildings. It just makes life so much easier. Now you can thicken it up like I'm doing on these ones that I have like a slanted top to. And if you want to put on a tower or anything like that, you can just kind of use your brush as that guiding line. Now I'm going to start getting into the more old school architecture. For this, it's kind of like you're making a hut and that top of the building, you start making extensions of that roof and you'll notice me flipping my brush from side to side as I do it because I'm using a slanted flat brush. All right, it's going from one side to the other. I thin it up and I just keep adding layers as I see fit. From here, all right, these are just easy peasy. This is just kind of like making a T-square. Then this one, this is an actual building in Tokyo. Uh, I had to convince my students on that one. It looks like the Eiffel Tower, and that's what they wanted to identify this. This is actually based off the architecture of the Eiffel Tower. This is Tokyo Tower, and it's slightly taller. Hopefully that helped get your mind around how to actually do the painting part of the cityscape. Now the next thing I want to show you is the ones that I did during class. Now the ones I did during class, while they are based on the ones I previously showed you, I did them in entirely different color schemes. I have this bright green one, which I think gives it like an eerie kind of glow. I liked that one a lot. Then I also did this blue one. I liked the red one because it kind of looked like the Japanese flag and I kind of liked that vibe, but I think so long as you keep it in the monochromatic-ish kind of vibe, you still get that old school Japanese painting kind of feel, which is what I really like about this one.
Those time lapses go fast. I'm glad all of you kept up with me. I'm gonna leave you with some of the artwork of my students. I had a couple of friends who went rogue during this project. One person did a completely different project, and I had one person who took this project and put it in a digital format, which this particular project is great for a digital format. It uses the same concepts of layering, so it's very transferable. Let's see what they did. Thanks for hanging out with me guys. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe. If you are local, think about coming by and joining a class. If you're not local, think about going online and joining the Creation Nation and taking a class with us. See you next time. Bye.